Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. sure you guys just seen it in the car can you guys guess what it is I'll give you a hint it is an Apple product and no it's not a new iPhone because I just got that no it's not a new iPad which I wish I had like four of them of because I love iPads <laughs> the new MacBook that literally just came out can you guys believe that now you're wondering okay you're always saying you're broke on here well I actually got it with a credit card. I really love, I've always like really loved MacBooks and I've always really wanted one. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna apply for this and if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. When you're like iPhone, you know that they really do not have good options for iMovies. So, so that's like the first thing I checked when I went to, cause I got it actually at Best Buy down in St. Cloud. And shout out to, I forgot his name, but if any of my Minnesota friends live in St. Cloud and you guys go to Best Buy and it's the Apple guy that's there, he has like a reddish beard or brown beard and glasses. Yeah, he had glasses. He was very, very helpful. He actually showed me like everything you would need to know about a MacBook. All like questions you had, he could answer it like he was some type of like expert on everything, which I'm maybe he was because maybe, you know, he had to be trained to do that. But, you know, I have everything set up. This is what it looks like. I got the 13 inch because I figured I didn't need anything bigger than that because I already have two more laptops and you're thinking, I already have two more laptops and you're like, why do you need that many um, laptops? Well, I'll tell you. My, I have an Acer, which I know ooh, is not that good, but it's good to me because it actually runs a lot faster than my HP I have. And most Acers do not run very well after a while. You just start going weird because I've had an Acer before and it went like completely like trash. Okay. So you got your little keyboard right here. It is an excellent finish. I love the feel of this. It's literally so thin here. That's how thin this laptop is. It literally like, of course it goes thick like normal. But then when you go to like where your wrist would lay for typing, it gets thin, flat, and you can actually just like go like this and you can open it. You don't even have to sit there. Okay, you know with the normal laptops, you have to pry it open. Well, you don't even have to do that with this one because you literally can have it on the like on the table, wherever it is, on your lap. And you literally could just press this open, don't even have to hold it down like normal laptops. I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh my God, like that is neat. Like because with my other, like my Acer, I always like having to do that like i have to like sit there and like pry it open and i'm like oh my it's heavy and and this one is literally only like two pounds it is just big enough i got the 13.3 inch but on the piece of paper it says 13 but this was a 13.3 but whatever rack i have a three and i got this for 15 no 1400 but i got an extender because it only it comes with the two charging ports and what it is, is you can actually buy an extender for this. And one of these you can use for your power cable, like plug-in to charge it, which is, it's not like your normal plug-ins. It's, um, okay, if you have an iPhone and you know how it's a flat, like plug-in and you plug it in and you kind of have to push into there, this is magnetic. It just like pops in there and it starts charging it right away. And if you're wondering, yes, it does come with a headphone jack. That was my main concern too. I was like, I was like, okay, with a headphone jack because I need headphones for when I'm editing videos because I need the headphone jack. So thank you, Apple, for continuing putting the headphone jack in there because my iPad has one, but my phone does does not. I have the iPhone XS Max, and that does not come with a headphone jack so i had to get bluetooth headphones which i had before when i had my iphone 7 plus which yay 
thanks Apple for taking away things people use and making us pay almost $200 for headphones that we didn't ask for. And it runs really, really fast. I got the, um, the guy recommended and he wasn't trying to make me pay more than I wanted to for it. He um, stated that if you're, cause he asked, what am I gonna be using my Apple MacBook for? And I said, editing videos. And he's like, well, you're gonna probably want a lot of space. You're gonna be putting a lot of videos on there because videos are more space than photos, which I knew that. So I was like, okay, good. So he recommended me getting the 256 gigabyte just so I don't ever have to run into the storage issue. So I ended up getting that, which is smart because that's what I got with my phone and I've never had a problem with my phone, with storage, nothing. Like I've never had problems with that either. So I've never had a problem with Apple products. It's always been Samsung. And like I said, stated like previously, I'm not against Samsung, I'm just stating the fact that I am an Apple person. I prefer it. Yes, I know they're way overpriced, they're expensive, whatever. That's my problem, not yours. I just love this MacBook. It is an excellent purchase. I am so in love with it and I've literally only played with it like one time. And so you can choose a login thing. Oh, I forgot about the login thing. Okay, hold on, let me grab it. Okay, you see this little button right here? It's not actually a button. I thought it was a button, but it's actually not. It's right here. This one right up here. That's actually your touch ID. Now, if you're not familiar with Apple products and you're new to that, that like, that company, whatever, and you've never had an iPhone or anything in your life, okay. I wish I had an iPhone with a button to show you, but if you know of the touch ID and you're used to it and you actually use it, these new MacBooks, come with that I thought that was so cool that these come with that like instead of sitting there having to type in your you know like every other laptop you you know if you've had one you could just sit there and hold down you know it's like the face recognition except it's touch ID so you it reads your finger and I was like oh my god like for my MacBook technically but I think that's a great purchase I mean it's a high-tech laptop I've always wanted one and I, I don't mind other laptops but like I stated before none of them had the iMovie only Apple products have iMovies um, I do think you can buy iMovie on like other like computers and stuff but I heard it's expensive um, if it is not meant if iMovie is not meant on that computer then maybe you should be buying it because iMovie takes a lot of like time and effort and space and I guarantee it's probably gonna take up a lot of space on your computer and it'll start going slower and slower and slower. Start going slower and slower and slower. Intentionally go in there wanting the Pro, but after he told me that this one will actually run faster than the Pro after putting a lot of things on it. He did state that the MacBook Air does have better um, speed value, but he did say that the Pro is better for like videos, but he said you will want speed and agility basically for it. So if you're wanting speed, I would go with the MacBook Air, but if you're more wanting to use it for schooling and you really don't care, like, I mean, MacBooks at all, they all run fast. I mean, eventually things are gonna start going slow, the phones go slow, the iPads will go slow, the MacBooks eventually will go slow too. The watch, let me tell you, uh, if you're constantly around your phone anyways, there's no point for you to get a watch. Um, I was always on Facebook and Snapchat and I was always around my phone. The only time I didn't go around my phone is if I was at work, I could leave because I had the cellular one. If you do not know what that is, it is where it basically runs off of your data plan, whether you're on like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, all those. Like, like I said, the only time I ever used mine away from my phone is when I left my phone at work and I went to lunch and I just didn't bring my phone because I was like, okay, I'm only running the subway. For here in this town, we have a small town, it literally took, takes me like five, 10 minutes to get back to work. To be honest, if you're always around your phone, like me, like I said, I, I was always on other apps, so I really didn't see the point of having an Apple Watch because it's like, oh, hey, that person texted me, cool. I mean, if I, you know, like I said, though, if you're never around your phone, you, 
you just don't you you're not a Facebook person you don't go on Facebook like as often as I do I go on Facebook maybe about every two or three hours you're charging it in a room and you're in a way other room like let's say it's in the living room and it's charging and you're in the kitchen making something and you you're not hearing your phone going off well it'll start going off on your wrist and you can't start one thing I did not like about the Apple watch though too is your calls were all on speakerphone. You could put them on your headphones, but for some reason, mine did not like to go to my headphones when you called. So, if you're walking around the store, people will hear a conversation because it's all on speakerphone, basically. And so I think that if you are really interested, I would go purchase one. It just sucks that they are expensive, but they will be worth it because you will be having them for multiple, multiple years. So, Isaac, who, He's not doing videos. Um, if you have subscribed to his channel, um, he's not going to be doing videos for maybe a little while. He is actually in treatment, and I figured I would let you know just in case if you're wondering if you just subscribe and you're like, okay, you told me to subscribe to this guy, but he's like never doing videos. He is going to be doing videos. He's just getting mental help and physical help. So, and so, so yeah, that is my video. Stay tuned. I will be having another one shortly. Alright, bye guys.